What we're going to do today is have a look at the distance formula and this entails finding the distance between two points using the formula d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. So we have a quick example for you. So we want to find the distance between the two points point a minus 2 7 and point b 6 4 using the formula d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared. So first of all we take a which we have minus 2 7 and we label minus 2 as x1 and we label 7 as y1. We then take point b which is 6 4 and we label x2 with 6 and y2 with 4. Now we have everything we need in order to do this formula. We have x2, x1, y2 and y1. So d, the distance equals the square root of x2 minus x1, which is 6, minus minus 2 squared, plus y2 minus y1, which is 4, minus 7, again squared. So we have the distance equals square root, 6 minus minus 2, remember 2 minuses become a plus, so 6 plus 2 gives us 8 squared, plus 4 minus 7, which is minus 3, again squared. So we now have the square root of 8 squared, which is 64, plus minus 3 squared. So if you remember, minus 3 times minus 3 becomes positive 9. So we have d equals root 64 plus 9, which gives us root 73. Now we could leave the answer as root 73, but if we were asked for a decimal, root 73 becomes 8.5 to one decimal place, which would be fine. But if we were asked to round up to the nearest whole number, 8.5 would round up to 9. But 8.5 for this purpose today is perfect. So what I can do now is show you another way of finding the distance between two points and this way is a scale drawing. So again we have point A and we have point B. Point A is minus 2, 7 and point B is 6, 4. So the scale we've used is 1 centimetre per unit. So there we have it, 2 centimetres gives us minus 2. So point A is minus 2, that's 2 units to the left. And 7, that's 7 positive units up top. And point B is 6 units to the right and 4 units up here. So point A and point B, if we were to measure from here to here, we have 8.5, which is correct. So there's two methods of finding the distance between two points. I hope you've enjoyed the video.